Hello everyone, welcome to my absurd channel. I want to talk about Joe KB. I hope I pronounced that correctly, please correct me if I'm wrong. At first I thought this game will be released on PC. Then I see TapTap -Tap is already opening pre-registration on their platform, so it looks like the game will be available also on mobile. This will be another masterpiece from Pearl Abyss on mobile platform after Black Desert Mobile. They announced the game in November 2019, but until today, no further information on release date. So up till now, nothing I can do but sitting and watching all these Dokebi trailers and clips on YouTube. It's like sitting in a street bar, you know? You can see them tatas right in front of you, but you can't touch them, you can't play with them. Well, at least in this case, I don't have to pay. And I don't go to a street bar just for the record. Not during this pandemic, at least. Dokebi will be something very different from other games developed by PA. This MMO is about catching cute monsters in a massive open world with modern futuristic environment design. It's very colorful, cheerful, Pokemon-ish style, brings me back to my childhood memories without the bully and the beating of course. This little girl seems will be the main character. She travels around with her group of hippie creatures, capturing huge wild monsters using a vacuum cleaner. They could come up with Ghostbusters Proton Gun or Pokemon Ball, but no, they choose a vacuum cleaner instead. And now she's surrounded by weird creatures. Just like me in my office. This big ugly fellow here is my boss. And the game also have its own original soundtrack called Rockstar. I don't really listen to K-pop, but if you do, I put the link in the description should you are interested. I really wish I can speak and read Korean. They have the best barbecue, good video games, hot chicks everywhere. And I'm referring to the South one, of course. Saronaria Eunjunjijo Erisang Dugan dug ah I suck. Pearl Abyss is also playing secretive on this one. If we take a look at Duke of the official website or the videos and trailer they put on YouTube, they don't really share much on how the actual in-game would look like. The only thing we have now is this: a seven second of real in-game footage. A really PA, only seven seconds. Why, you need Viagra or something to make it longer? No, 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 just kidding. But let's just enjoy what we have. I will loop this 7 seconds footage for you guys to see. And look at the graphic, wow. The main character is standing here on the side of the road. A car passing by. Let's zoom here, it's a food stall. Zoom over there, there are people talking on the other side of the street. Sitting at the bus stop. It's only 7 seconds, but it's enough to tell me that the game will require heavy phone spec. If it is finally released on mobile. And I don't think my old Samsung A50 here will fit for the job anymore. Time for a new phone. Dear PA, please release the game for mobile. This 
is the year where humanity should stand together. We've all been challenged and tested. We are in a historical milestones that people will remember for a long time. So why not do something good to help us during this hard moment and be part of the history? When someday my grandchildren ask me, Grandpa, what happened in 2020? I'm going to say to him, it was Corona time. Human race faced a dangerous unknown virus, and Pearl Abyss also released Tokiri on mobile. What's Tokiri, Grandpa? Shut up.